dear student today we are taking the section of leucorice root myself sugave ramling from chanabashwar polytechnic d pharmacy college latur these are the roots of leucorice synonym for leucorice sweet leucorice or red x glyceriza in marathi that is be called muleti or just mud biological source leucorice consist of peeled unpeeled roots and stolons of glyceriza glabra belongs to the family leguminaceae after taking a thin transparent section when we observe under microscope it shows upper cork then cortex phalogen phalodum parenchyma then in the center it shows xylem and phloem and also shows the calcium oxalate crystals and medullary rays after taking a thin transparent section staining is done with the help of specific microchemical reagent that is ts plus chloroglucinol plus concentrated hcl in 1 to 1 ratio it gives pink color to the lignified xylem and medullary rays and second reagent we are using ts plus 60% sulfuric acid it gives color to the calcium oxalate crystals last reagent that is ts plus iodine solution it gives blue color to the starch grains in the section this is the transverse section diagram for leucorice root it shows cork phalogen phalodum xylem phloem and medullary rays and calcium oxalate crystals in the section now we are taking the boil and cool leucorice root take it in a left hand and with the help of sharp razor blade take a thin transparent section of leucorice root so when we observe the leucorice root it's our outer reddish brown in color cork then cortex and in the center it shows xylem and phloem so with the help of sharp razor blade first we uniformly make a cut transversely then we are taking a thin transparent section of leucorice in this way we are cutting the uniform root then we are taking a thin transparent section of leucorice root in this way with the help of camel hair brush transfer it in a wash glass containing water which is used as a cleaning reagent so take take a thin transparent complete section of leucorice root in this way you have to use sharp new razor blade for taking a thin transparent section so this is a small root of leucorice so complete disc circular shaped section we obtain by using a small root so in this way we are taking a thin transparent section of leucorice then with the help of camel hair brush transfer it in a wash glass containing water clean the section by using water select thin transparent complete sections and remaining sections you have to discard so these selected sections we clean by using cleaning reagent that is water and we remove the fibrous material debris which are present on the section so this is the very thin transparent circular shaped section we have cut then it is bleach with the help of bleaching reagent that is hydrogen peroxide so this is hydrogen peroxide four to five drops of hydrogen peroxide we use for bleaching and the bleaching is done at least for 5 minute so when we make a bleach it reduces pigmentation 
and make a discoloration of the section and making the tissue clear in appearance so bleach it for least 5 minutes after 5 minutes remove the bleaching agent from wash glass then specific microchemical reagent we use for staining purpose so we are using fluoroglucinol and concentrated reacl 1 is to 1 ratio so first we use fluoroglucinol 5 drops then we use concentrated scl 5 drops that is 1 is to 1 ratio we use so this is concentrated scl we are placing 5 drops of concentrated scl on the section and treat the section at least for 5 minutes then we are adding then we are adding iodine solution 1 to 2 drops which gives blue color to the starch grains which is present in the section so this is iodine solution just place a drop of iodine solution otherwise the section become bluish black just use only one drop and rinse the dropper in the liquid so in this way we use staining reagent iodine then dilute sulfuric acid we use just two to three drops which gives color to the calcium oxalate crystals in the section so these are the specific microchemical reagent we use for staining process for leucorice root treat it for 5 minutes so during the treatment the staining reagent react physically chemically or biologically and it impart color to the different portions in the sections after staining wash the section carefully with the help of cleaning reagent which remove the excessive colorant which are present on the section so clean very clearly neatly and remove the excessive colorant which are present on the section and after cleaning take this section on a clean dried slide with the help of camel hair brush so very lightly you have to take or transfer the sections from wash glass to slide otherwise damage may occur to the section so in this way we are transferring the section on the slide then use a drop of water and drop of glycerin which use it as a mounting reagent so place a drop of water and drop of glycerin on the section which prevent the dryness of section mix it well water and glycerin dip the section in the mixture of water and glycerin and place a clean and dried cover slip on the section with the help of dissecting needle so clean it and dried it then with the help of dissecting needle keep the slide cover slip on the section with the help of dissecting needle then clean the slide remove the excessive flu fluid which is present on the slide with the help of bloating paper 
after cleaning the slide observe the slide under microscope so it shows all the parts <laughs>